Yo, what's good with y'all? So in today's video, I got a um, what's it called? I got an updated one. This is the updated version of how to make a health bar and stuff. I did the last one I did was like, uh, let me see, September 18th, so about like half half a year ago, pretty much, like about eight months ago, I should say, right? So yeah, so this one um, a little more performance friendly as well as animated. And I also figure something out like with the sizing which should help out which should help a lot of people out and stuff. But yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay. So first things first, of course, for Mega Health Bar we're first gonna need a GUI. So let's insert a screen GUI to start a GUI. Then let's insert a text label into screen GUI. We will name screen GUI uh health GUI. Then we can name this uh you could call this uh actual health text label right yeah we'll call it that actual health text label then you can duplicate it by pressing control d while having it selected <coughs> and then you can call this uh full health text label right now the difference is obviously actual health displays the amount of health you currently have well so it could be actual health or current health whichever one you want full health is how much health you should have so by default everyone has 100 health like in studio your game might have uh more health and stuff but for my game it's 100 health so we are going to make one of these bars green so the actual health bar needs to be green right well the full bar remains white now this might happen where like it might not overlap correctly because pretty much you want the green to be over the white so because you don't like look you don't want it to work like this wait yeah there you go you don't want it to work you don't want it to work like that like no you don't want it to work like that so pretty much what we're going to do is we are going to change the z index right here i believe if i change it yeah to two pretty much just play around with the z index just change one of them to two and i think it should work if it doesn't work then change the other one to two so then now yeah that's how you want it to work then of course i'm going to use the ui corner it's completely up to y'all if i want to but i'm going to use the ui corner right then I'm going to make it 25, then duplicate this and put it under full health as well. <coughs> and there we go. Looks much nicer. And then, of course, we're going to change the size. Uh, make it 300, like 300. Um, and then, yeah, the math for it is honestly pretty simple. You guys can also delete the text if you want. It's completely up to y'all, but I'm going to delete the text. And then we're going to insert a local script into actual health. Make sure it's an actual health, not full health. And we'll call this health display script. Then first things first, we need to get the local player. So local player is equal to game.players.localplayer. Then do local character is equal to game.workspace wait for child player.name. And we also need to wait for the humanoid. So let's do character, wait for child, humanoid. Right. And then instead of us doing instead of us doing while well, true do, we're going to do humanoid.change, which should be more performance friendly. So we're gonna do character dot humanoid dot change to call and connect function. Close parentheses, enter. So pretty much just means if any one of the properties change for humanoid, because uh by the way, if you're thinking of trying to do health that change, this does not work. So we have to do humanoid that change, which pretty much means um if any of the properties of the humanoid change, then this function will run. So yeah. So pretty much if one of the properties change, we want it to do script uh, script dot parent instead of Changing the size directly, we're going to tween it, tween size, right? And then we're going to do udm2 dot new, and we're going to do right. The math is honestly very simple, right? I know before I told y'all to just play around with the numbers, but honestly, it's it's actually pretty simple. Okay, so obviously you want to take the size of what you currently have, right? You guys are going to want to use these numbers, so zero, so zero three hundred. 0, 050. Obviously, you don't want to change this number. You don't want to change the y value. But we do, however, want to change the x value. So, pretty much what you guys want to do is you want to do, I believe, um, if 
if I'm not mistaken, I think we do this script dot parent dot size dot y. It's been it's honestly been a while since I did it. Mm. Oh no, sorry, sorry guys, I remember, I remember. Okay, we get the uh, what's it called, the character's health. So character dot humanoid dot health, right? So remember, right? Our game has 100 health. So pretty much the math is simple. If we have 100 health and the total size is 300, we simply just multiply the health by 300, and boom. I mean, sorry, not by 300. Sorry, not by 300. Is I think we do it by three or zero point. No, no, no. It should be yeah, it should be by three. But yeah, by three. So it's pretty simple. And then of course we don't change this because we're only needing to change this size, not that size. Well, unless you want to do it like that, but yeah. And then that's pretty much it. Well, except for, well, aside from like the other details that we gotta do. So then we can do enum dot easing direction. Uh, uh, I guess I'll say out and then enum easing style. We'll do linear. I'm not gonna put a time. Yeah, I'm not gonna put a time. I don't think we need one for this, but yeah. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and click play. And let's. Let's see if it works. All right, we can. Oh, well, the chat's gone. So yeah, but let me go here and then. Oh, sorry, not here. Let me go to my character and then my health, and I'll change my health to show you guys. So if I do 90 health, boom. As you guys can see, it's not just like moving to that point. It's like it's animated, like it's sliding back or sliding forward, as you guys can see. Then if we go to full health. Yeah, there we go. Then we can do small changes like that, and or 25, like that, and yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. So once again, to explain the math, right? You need to do character dot humanoid dot health, right? And it's pretty much you're doing that times uh, what's it called? You're pretty much doing your health. I think health divided by the x value, the x value of uh, your GUI because that's because that's pretty much what I did. I did health, so 100 divided by 300 is 3. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you should do it. But yeah, uh, as always, the script will be in the description. Appreciate y'all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if the video was helpful. Links to join the Discord server can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching.